Hello YouTube, welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. It has been a long time. It's been I think a, at least a month and a half since I posted a video and I got good reasons for it. Sorry if the screen is a little dark. Um, the sun is at that time where it's really bright. So I'm gonna stay in the shade so hopefully you guys can see me as long as you guys can hear me. But let me give you guys the rundown of what's been going on here at Ambrose. Uh, things have been extremely hectic which is why I haven't been able to post a video. Um, so basically, first thing that happened, my Ben, my guy that was working with me, he got offered a job with his uncle to go do construction in a field that he had more passion for than the landscaping, which was completely fine. So he kind of, he left, so I went solo for about, uh, well, I went solo for about three weeks, but it was a week until I found the next guy that I hired <clears throat> who, uh, is an amazing guy. He's just been an amazing employee. He's only been with me for now about a week and a half But I had to wait two weeks for him I think actually I had to wait three weeks for him to first us decide to finally take him on and then also he had to give us two weeks notice at his job So what happened was when we brought him on I wanted to focus more on landscaping installation rather than the maintenance part of mowing uh, I do love mowing, but when I first started my company, my dream and passion was to go more into install. Like I said in some previous videos, the TV shows like Turf Wars, Yard Crashers, and Desperate Landscapes, that's my favorite show. When I would watch that, that was exactly what I wanted to do. The problem with it though was I never hired a guy that had experience or had that passion to go into that. So for me, it was scary to go into that. Uh, you know, I've done small installs here and there, but we fo we started focusing over the past couple years more on the maintenance part, the mowing. <clears throat> so, luckily the guy I hired was part of a company in my local area where he has the experience and he has the knowledge of doing the landscape install. So basically when he came on, I told him, I said, okay, well, we're going to go full in. You know, if we're bring you, bringing you on because it was a big, you know, we're paying him way more than what we paid any other person or any other employee in the past. Um... And uh, so basically I said, you know, and I guaranteed him because, you know, in, in, you know, the summertime, you know, we're working over 40 hours. So I told him I, I can guarantee you 40 hours because at his previous job, he was getting paid way more than what I started him at, which that makes sense. You know, you don't really get to start at the same height when you start working up in the company. Uh, but he was getting 40 hours even during the wintertime where here, you know, since there's no snow, you know, removal or anything like that to do, work kind of just dies down. So to guarantee him 40 hours in the wintertime was a big stretch. But I told him, I said, if we're going to be going to install, luckily there's still work, you know, if we go in it. So for those that follow me on Instagram or whatever, or even on Facebook, uh, let me see. I'm trying to get a little bit more light. There we go. That's way better. Okay. <clears throat> um, basically, all I did was redo my website because that sod install that we did, the previous job, when the lady called me, she asked me, she says, do you guys do sod install or landscaping design or anything like that? Because on your website, it only shows that you basically do mowing because that's really what we did. And uh, okay, I want to make sure my mic's on. And so what I did was, all I did was redo my website because when you go to Google, you know, we're like number two, sometimes we're number one, and then sometimes we're number two when you type in landscaping in my area. So basically all I did was redo my website said on there that we do design installation which we did we just didn't do as much I didn't really publicize it just because I didn't have the right guy with me and within the first week I already have well let's see this was like three weeks ago but within the first week I already had like three calls for installation one saw install job and it just things got hectic so last week was my employees first week um, working with me and Basically, he just worked. We just worked a seven. He worked a 73-hour work week last week. I worked over 80 hours. So the reason why I haven't gotten a video is because not only am I putting more focus on my business right now because we're trying to stretch into new things, but I've been, you know, I went solo for three weeks. So me working over 50, 60 hours by myself to maintain the jobs that I have right now um, really took a toll on me. So I don't have time to, you know, record videos. <clears throat> not only that, two weeks ago, uh, I was in the hospital because I tore a chest muscle from at work, one day at work. And so um, that was really bad, excruciating pain. Like, uh, it was just horrible. I, I'll talk about that later. But basically, uh, it put me behind about five days of work. Because, let's see, yeah. Because I had to take Tuesday off. No, let's see. I worked Monday, took Tuesday off, worked Wednesday, and then woke up Thursday morning, and the pain was just even... Like, it was so bad where, basically, there was just sitting there, I had 
you know, really bad pain, but if I breathe in and out because it was right there in my rib cage, basically my rib would just pop in and out because I thought I dislocated a rib, but I, I, I guess I found out that I kind of tore chest muscle. And so just sitting there, there was pain, not only breathing, there was even more pain and then moving around was even more pain. And it was, to be honest, it's the worst pain I ever felt. I've cut part of my finger off, cut in, you know, my knee opening, gotten stitches and all that crap. But this by far was the most pain because like I said, not only just sitting there is there pain, but just breathing, even laying there, there was so much pain. And I had these really bad muscle um, spasms. I don't know if that's what they called them or whatever, but it, yeah, so anyways, so I had to, I wound up taking like three days off that week which really put me behind. So when my employee started uh, last week, we had to catch up on all of our jobs. So the grass was like really tall. And so we were having to bag everything. So some of our yards took, you know, a little bit longer. And so anyways, so that's what happened uh, there. Uh, a couple other things, hold on. My, memories are, my memory card's about to get full. I gotta delete a couple things and then we'll get started. So say, hold on. All right, now we're good to go. Seems like every time I'm on my camera, either my memory card is getting full or my battery is about to die. So anyways, um, so like I said, uh, with me being in the hospital, taking off days of work, uh, me going solo for you know the past almost month and then finally having my guy. And then, so basically this is what happened. Within the past week and a half, yeah, within the past week and a half, my first week that my guy started with me, not only do we have three installed leads that basically we already sent out our designs, people accepted them, so now we have to put that in our schedule. But we also signed with a local contractor that builds houses and now we're doing brand new insulation. So not only are we doing the plants, the beds, the rocks, whatever, but we're also doing complete full irrigation system as well through the front yards. And so, so things have been completely hectic. You know, from going from mowing to install, you know, like I said, you know, working these 80 hour work weeks, I have so much energy because this is where my passion is and this is where I want to, which is why my company is called Ambrose Landscaping. And I, I got a couple comments and a lot of people say, well, why are you called Ambrose Landscaping when you do maintenance? Well, like I said, my dream and goal when I was, when I first started my company was to get into the design and install. Uh, but because some of the companies around here were so big and like I said, it's, it's scary going into something new that you don't know. Uh, that's why we focus mostly on the maintenance part. So like I said, we're, I'm, I'm starting to focus more on the, the install. That's where we're at. As of right now, last week, last over the past weekend, we uh, were doing two house brand new installs. We're doing completely front uh, yard irrigation. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram because when I get really busy, I don't have time to post videos, but I do have time to post pictures on Instagram and sometimes Facebook. So follow me on Instagram. You're able to kind of keep in, you know, up to date about what's going on. But if you look at our videos, or our pictures, you'll see that uh, we're doing front yard insulation for both houses. He has a third house soon that uh, we're going to be doing another install on that. Same thing, front yard and everything. And then he's building six more houses this year, which we're going to be doing complete yard, you know, landscaping installation. So as of right now, we have uh, two yards going in. So we got luckily we're going to finish them this weekend. Last weekend was just so crazy. Uh, next weekend we probably could be starting the third house. The weekend after that. We're doing the, this other landscaping install, maybe the weekend at that, another lane. So we're about we're about a month and a half, almost two months out, completely booked full. You know, we're like basically because of everything going on and then all of the shrubs need to be trimmed, we're about, you know, two months out, almost a month and a half. So things are really crazy here. And so that's why it's been so long since we posted a video. But like I said, follow us on Instagram. And um, sorry if the sun gets in the thing but in the lens but yeah anyways follow us on Instagram that way you guys can um, keep track so some of the things that's been going on because we're doing because we're basically signed with this contractor um, if once you start to get to know me I hate renting tools and I hate borrowing stuff I buy my own crap so the other day I went and bought a tilt trailer because I wanted one and I get sick of renting them because not only do you waste the time in the morning for the place to open up and then you got to get it and then you gotta, you know, get the trailer, come back, load it up. You know, we want to start at seven o'clock in the morning, but we can't start at seven because the place isn't open till 7:30. By the time we get back, load up the tractor, and head off, we're not getting to the job site till about 8:30 or so. So, anyways, um, I'll show you guys the trailer. But I literally just picked this up a couple days ago. It is a maxi tilt bed trailer. We got the four-inch deck up front that is a stationary deck, which is pretty amazing. Because what I plan on doing, we're gonna be buying a skid sprayer, because the guy also, the contractor wants me to do the spraying since we are licensed in the state of Washington to spray pesticides. 
um, I'm gonna be buying one of those skid sprayers and so we're gonna mount it on there and he also wants hydro seeding done so I'm also looking at buying a hydro seeder because I hate not only do I hate borrowing not only do I hate renting but I absolutely hate subcontracting jobs out when I know I can do the work myself so I gotta flip my yeah, I gotta flip my mic around because last time it didn't work. So let me show you the trailer uh, really quick. All right, guys, so here it is. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know it's in the shade. I literally picked this up today is Thursday. Went and picked it up first thing Monday morning, paid cash for it. Everyone always wants to know the price. So I will tell you the price. It was about $59.90, so almost $6,000. And the money that I had saved out, I was planning on buying two more mowers. I was planning on buying another X1 and then the brand new stand on Hustler Super S. But since we're now focusing more on install, where I went and bought this trailer and then possibly later on, I'm gonna be buying a, um, I, I'm deciding between a skid steer or a front loader. I will show you what we're using right now. This is my wife's grandpa's tractor. It's a John Deere front loader with a box scraper in the back. It's been a great thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see pictures. There's the wife. And uh, so this has been a great thing. I'm gonna try to get some videos um, of me using this, but like I said, we're too busy right now to even do that. So this is our tractor that we've been using. So luckily we've been trading work in exchange for letting me use the tractor around here. So that's been saving us a lot of money because I don't feel like spending about two to $250 a day renting a tractor. That's a waste of money when we can use one. So anyways, that's what we're using. And like I said, um, got the day soul, but I'm happy to have a brand new trailer. Like I said, it's great. So uh, I'll, get some, I'll get a video on this later on, but like I said, it's a tilt bed, 20 foot long, 7,000 pound axles each. So 14,000 pounds, clearly. Uh, just amazing trailer All right guys, so like I said, that's what's been going on if you watch this whole video Thank you so much and you are a true subscriber and I really appreciate your views Like I said, sorry for not getting some videos out to you sooner But you know, I got to put more focus on my business right now than my YouTube channel because my business is what's making me money and um, So like I said, thank you to all the guys that continue to stay subscribed and wait and patient and to all the douchebags that keep leaving these dumb comments uh, like I said, I'm just, I don't really care anymore. I'm not, I'm not here to make you happy because I know, you know, from talking to guys in business over time, you will learn that you won't make everyone happy and I understand that. So the guys that dislike my videos or leave these stupid comments, you're just gonna automatically be blocked because it's a lot easier for me to block you than for you to go make a fake account, so I really don't care. So anyways, just wanna say thank you to the guys that, everyone that's been very patient and been waiting for me to get a video out. Like I said, we'll get some amazing footage now that we're focusing more on installs. Once things slow down, at the end of September, we go from weekly mowings to bi-weekly mowings. And so with that, we'll have more time to do recording and stuff like that. And like I said, getting off at six, seven o'clock, sometimes actually I've been getting off at nine o'clock at night just to finish some jobs. You know, I wanna come home and spend time with my baby and my wife. And so, like I said, my family and my business is more important than this YouTube channel. And so, like I said, eventually we'll get some more footage. And, uh, but right now we're in the middle of training. We're in the middle of redoing our whole entire business and focusing on other things. So anyways, I can ramble on all day, but I, I believe I covered everything that's been going on. Be sure to leave a comment and I would say subscribe because we post videos every week. But you know, with things the way they are, hopefully I can get something to you guys anyways. So like I said, be sure to subscribe to our Instagram um, account or whatever. That way you guys know what's going on. And, um, and uh, we will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping.